from the Adelaide Footy League Breakthrough Mental Health Division to deep dive analysis of the round 13 clashes that were played on the weekend. And this is brought to you by Filming Footy with statistics powered by Dartfish. Let's get into it. Yesterday, I ventured down to Goodwood Oval to see what was potentially a playoff for fifth position come the season's end. Unfortunately, Goodwood Saints were very disappointing at home, going down five goals, 14 to Flinders Park, 18 goals, 11, which is a margin of 75 points. If you said at the start of the day that probably the most alarming factor was the final margin, which was 75 points. Flinders Park played this game completely on their own terms and absolutely did the dishes on Goodwood Saints yesterday. The player in focus is big Toby Schultz. If you can't recognise him out there, have a look for the big glove. He was instrumental, having 40 disposals, including 34 kicks and 16 marks, which was double any of the Goodwood Saints players on the ground. He was right under the umpire's nose as well, receiving five free kicks whilst he was out there with his own football on hand. Talking about own footballs in hand, Nick Swartz went home with leather poisoning as well, with him uh, accumulating 32 disposals, including 21 hand passes and nine clearances. The Flinders Park boys have got the final, uh, out of their final five games, they've got the four teams above them. So they've got a tricky and a challenging run home, whereas Goodwood Saints have got three potential wins to come out of their final five games. Moving along to Edwardstown and Modbury. Ebbetstown, 10 goals, 14-74, going down to the Modbury team of 22 goals, 11-143. That is a margin of 81 points, so big margins so far. The combined goal kicking was pretty impressive between both sides, which accumulated 32 goals, 15, which is pretty impressive. But that's where it finished for Ebbetstown because Modbury absolutely cleaned them up in the inside 50 count, 82-38, to 38, and dominated the hitouts in the ruck. 68 to 24, which included big Jake West raising the bat for 54 hitouts throughout the game. Might be set up their victory with a seven goal six opening term. And Darcy Pisani continued his scintillating form with a best on ground performance with 32 disposals at a running rate of 89% efficiency with six inside 50s and five clearances. The match of the round saw Athelstan take on Ross Trevor Old Collegians and it was a mouth-watering clash going into that game. Statistically a very even game. Uh, Athelstan, 10 goals, 5. Went down to rocks by 7 points, 10, 12. Athelstan were four goals leaders at half time, so they've let this one slip and they also had a lead at three-quarter time heading for home by 11 points but just ran out of petrol tickets in the end. Um, James Wharton was best for the Rocks with 23 disposals including six inside 50, seven clearances and a game-breaking nine tackles. Kayla Button was best for Atherston with four goals and Atherston can take plenty out of the game but Ross Trevor Old Collegians are the team to beat in Division 2 so far for breakthrough mental health. Old Ignatius took on Salisbury North. Old Ignatius with nothing to lose. Salisbury North just going through a bit of a mid-season um, slump sort of period of their season. Uh, old, old Iggy's, eight goals, 10, 58. Went down by 19 points to Salisbury North, 11, 11, 77. Amazingly, Old Iggy's were up at half time by six points and seven points at three-quarter time as they went for home. Salisbury North, unfortunately, Oh, sorry, Salisbury North fortunately found their mojo in the last quarter and came home with a very, very wet sail. Four goals, three to two points in the last quarter. William McCarthy, best for old Iggy's. He's a heart and soul type character and uh, he put his best foot forward out there. Whilst Matthew Clouton was best for the visitors and Dominic Costanzo slides three through majors for Salisbury North. Hawks, Adelaide Uni and, and Foss Camden. Adelaide Uni, 13-7-85, defeating Foss Camden, nine goals, 7-61. Pretty evenly tight game throughout the, uh, the clash, with Adelaide Uni doing enough when it mattered, winning by the four-goal margin. Will McGowan continued his rich, rich vein of form, earning the best on-ground honours and has featured in the best players five of the last six games for Adelaide Uni, which is quite impressive. Matthew Nielsen kicked four goals for the winners, while Jaden White saluted as the best players for the Phantom. And Declan Grant kicked a game-high five majors to take his season tally to 29 goals and elevates him to seventh on the Breakthrough Mental Health leading goal-kicking tally. It's been a wonderful week um, go, going for a deep dive into Division Two with all games broadcasted 
via our YouTube channels and our social media platforms. So we wish all the teams from Division 2 all the very best and we look forward to following your action later in the season as we do a finals preview and bringing you the Division 2 Breakthrough Mental Health Grand Final uh, location to be announced and all teams in finals yet to be announced. It's going to be a rip-snorting end to the 2024 season. We wish all the Division 2 teams in the Breakthrough Mental Health League all the very best as you approach the finals and the back end of the season. Thanks and bye for now.